Chuck Chuck with You. A viral parody based on the hit song American Boy that resulted in record deals, radio coverage, 18 million Spotify streams and controversy. However, what happened to the creator of this song? And how did he get close to passing away? Well, I managed to get an interview with him and he revealed even more than I expected. How much did you make from like the song on all platforms? See, I shouldn't say, but I will. Let's get started. Leviathan actually had quite a normal life before becoming a superstar. Not really much was going on. I don't know. I was doing like karate and I was going to school. Like I was just some normal kid. I still am, but you know, like it's, I didn't really have much going on. However, he always wanted to do YouTube and got inspired by Markiplier to also make gaming videos and hopefully get a silver play button with it. But despite his efforts, gaming was not going to be responsible for his breakthrough. No, he would soon find out that his talent was not in gaming, but in making music. And he got his first taste of success with it not much later. It wasn't until I uploaded, what was it? Some music video thing that I made and it got, I think, 500,000 views. And I was like, oh, I really enjoy doing this. Like, I, I like making content and pushing it out to people. Well, 500,000 views would prove to be nothing for him as his life was about to change forever. On September 16th in 2018, a YouTuber called CM Skits uploaded a video titled Let's Play Fortnite, in which he dances shirtless over various Fortnite screenshots to a parody of American Boy by Estelle. This parody already included some of the beloved lyrics we know today and it started going viral on Instagram. Leviathan noticed this and decided to turn it into the legendary Chuck Chuck with you parody when he uploaded it on soundcloud and youtube this new parody had the same chorus and writing style as the old version from cm skits but featured some different lyrics throughout the rest of the song to make it more original now cm skits was fine with this parody when it first started getting traction and actually thought it was really funny however over time he said that he wished that he got more credit and started showing signs of regret i don't think he was super happy about it he seemed kind of like passive aggressive about it but i think that i did enough with it and i transformed it enough to the point where it's not really his thing anymore like especially that that first bit is completely written by me now this is where i normally would have showed the side of cm skits and i did get in contact with him but after telling me that there was a lot more to the story he deleted everything related to his old persona and blocked me i guess we will never know how he truly felt but he is doing really well nowadays as a musician and i truly wish the best for him in the future of his career now we all know that chuck chuck with you already blew up in 2018 but it really started going crazy in 2021 and there could only be one reason for it TikTok. It all started when Rough and Featherstone uploaded an animated TikTok to the song with the caption Literally nobody, Fortnite Kids IRL As this video already gained 500,000 views in two weeks Then people started performing dances to the song making it even more viral And ultimately an absolutely absurd amount of memes followed after this And the best creation out of all of this was easily the parody Smoyoho made And so Leviathan even featured in it himself But... That was not all. The co-founder of Epic Games responded to the song twice, LG started getting interested, Lil Yadi got involved, the song got released on all streaming platforms, and Lachlan and Enshue created a mosh pit with it on a festival. In fact, the song got so popular that it got 34 million views on YouTube and 18 million streams on Spotify, and it resulted in record labels now getting interested as well. Sony and Atlantic Records were some of the parties involved, but Sony ended up ghosting him after they missed four meetings and atlantic well that was even worse i had atlantic records reach out to me as well they were gonna sign me and the reason it didn't work out is because the a r rep was like we want you we really want you and then she played uh the song to the board and they were like what the f are you playing us like that <laughs> so and so she came back and she's like yeah they don't want you i'm sorry like i do they don't they're not into it and i was like okay i'll take that however this never stopped him he made another parody in february of 2019 called fortnite is trash released wall dynamo a month later and put out multiple remixes of chuck chuck with you this resulted in his youtube channel gaining over 200,000 subscribers and he decided to make an update video on the future of his channel not much later anyway i made making videos soon. I really want to get this channel up and running. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that. I want to do Minecraft videos, really just gaming. Yes, Leviathan wanted to capitalize on the 15 million views he obtained from his second blow up and decided on making his childhood dream of creating gaming videos 
a reality. He started making Minecraft videos with popular YouTubers Purpled, Wally Bear and Boomer NA and began streaming on Twitch, which also gave him great results. However, he unfortunately never really continued this and already stopped uploading Minecraft content after two videos. He still uploads and streams from time to time, with his latest video being a vlog that he uploaded two months ago and his last stream being at the end of June. But there have been multiple reasons for his inconsistency this year and one even caused him to nearly die. On the 16th of June, Leviathan tweeted out that he had been hospitalized for a week due to heart issues. And a few days later, he uploaded a vlog in which we could see what happened. At first, it seems like Leviathan is having a good time. And what you don't see in those recordings is that every 10 minutes or so, I wouldn't be able to breathe. I'd be holding my heart. I had to stop after I went on a few rides because I felt so sick. The majority of that time was me like dying. But at the end, he states that he had a heart attack earlier that morning after which he was rushed to emergency care. And then on the last day, I pretty much had a heart attack. It wasn't exactly a heart attack, but it was worse than some heart attacks would be. I've got like a fluid sack around my heart that makes it hard for it to beat. Leviathan followed this up with tweets of him having to constantly gauge on how close he is to a heart attack and that heart and lung issues are still happening for him to this day. So will he even get better at this point? Well, he has no idea because he hasn't even heard anything back from his doctors in over a month and is still taking two ibuprofen pills per day until they tell him what to do. However, he's doing okay for now and is actually doing a lot behind the scenes. Chuck Chuck with you obviously made him a lot of money. I shouldn't say, but I will. All platforms, it's it's somewhere in the six figure range. And he is planning to invest most of that in a diner for the community he lives in. I was sitting in my kitchen. I had this thought. I went, I really want breakfast right now. I am hungry, so I want to go out and get breakfast. There is nowhere to get breakfast in my town. Nowhere. And I'm starving. I called up a local diner. I was like, hey, you guys have been closed since before COVID. Maybe we talk about, you know, handing it over the keys. Yes, this 16-year-old teenager is not letting his heart disease stop him from moving forward. And it seems like the heart attack hasn't affected his heart of gold either, as his intentions are pure with the money he made. So I had the option. I had, there's a five plex near me that I could buy. That would make a lot of money. That would, you know, you could, you could bring people in there, put rent up. Instead, I wanted to do something that would benefit the community more. I feel like I want to work for my money. I already feel like I'm in a position where I did not do enough to deserve the position that I'm in now. But this diner is not the only thing he is passionate about nowadays. These days, he is all about focusing on real life. As he has a new apartment, likes to focus more on cinematography as he wants to post more vlogs that look like movies, and is also working on big projects. At the end of his interview with Behind the Meme, he said that big things were coming in the future. And he leaked some of these big things exclusively in our interview. You know the second parody I did? The Fortnite's trash. So the original singer of that, the I thought I had it all together. I got that guy on Fortnite is trash. I'm re-releasing it on Spotify with him on it. Yes, he got the original singer of Baby I'm Yours, also known from this meme. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. To feature on the re-release of his Fortnite is trash parody. And that is not even it, because he also has big plans for Chuck Chuck with you. I'm also possibly getting Estelle, an American boy. Now I've got a contact at Atlantic Records and Estelle is at Atlantic Records, so. Leviathan is one of the few people that took their fame and did something great with it. Whether that's constantly releasing new remixes for his fans and raising the bar, opening a diner for the community he lives in, or his remarkable positivity to keep going despite struggling to breathe every morning morning when he wakes up. The journey of Leviathan has been a crazy roller coaster, but there is one message that I definitely want you to remember at the end of this video, and that's this. The one thing that I would say is the thing that I've kept reiterating. If you're able to do something and it helps other people and, and you're enjoying it and it's not hurting anybody, do it. Do it right now. Do it the moment you're able to because you don't know when you're going to have that opportunity again and you just gotta seize the day. Now this was the video, please leave a like if you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and I might see you guys in this other video right here.